Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a full case of 2018 Panini Select Football 12 box pick your team number eight from jazbeescasebreaks.com here on a Saturday. Thanks for spending your Saturday evening with us. Eric Wine still here. He has the Panthers. And we've got, we got a good crew here. Patrick K with Last Spot Mojo. Zach is here. Garrett is here. Ben is here. Kyle Kramer is here. Greg McKinnon is here. A lot of people here. So thanks, everybody, for staying up with us. Spending a bit of your Saturday night with Jaspies is always nice. Appreciate it. Appreciate you getting spots here. Good luck, folks. Here it is. Full caser. So there you go. So we've got six on the left side, six on the right side. Box one. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Anthony P is also here. Garrett's like hits for only those who are present. There could be a little bit of that mojo, the watching live mojo. Grinding out this hour-long break with Joe Mojo. Ooh, Anthony also watching Sandlot on IFC. Remember uh, old Benny the Jet on uh, in the Sandlot? Or is everyone familiar with what happened to him? Right, Zach. He did steal home for the Dodgers. That is true. Now the uh, the actor that played Benny the Jet Rodriguez. I think he's in. A, I'm pretty sure he's in jail right now for some sort of attempted, almost, uh, almost murdering a guy. Almost beat a guy to death. Josh Rosen, I think he was a, uh, I think he was a, he was a, became a firefighter or something like that. And then on some, some drunken evening or something like that, thought there was a suspicious guy in the neighborhood and in his stupor, he had, he and his buddies had like beat some dude to almost ne nearly to death. Not good. Uh, that Ezekiel Elliott tie-dye, of course, goes to David Lopez and the Cowboys. There's Mason Rudolph, his jersey, going to Cameron Goodman, who has the Steelers in this one. No Michael Gallucci in this one? 47 out of 199 for that. Also, I don't have my usual card here, but um, the XRC cards will be will randomize everybody's uh, name on there. The name on top will get all the XRC cards, no matter how many are pulled. And the second name will get any and all points that come out. So, Nick Jaspi saying that the worst one is Gold, Goldie or Goldberg from Mighty Ducks. What happened with him? Oh, I think he got involved with uh, with the old Chris Meth, right? There's Jason Sanders, and we'll sleeve and top load all of those serial numbered cards before they before they go out. Of course, just in the interest of time, we're just breezing through these. There's uh, Willis McGahey. Nice one for the Bills. 149 out of 188. His mugshot looks like he's about 100. Is it because of because of drugs? Well, I'm kind of in the middle of something, G-Lo, but I'll, I'll look it up later. Someone remind me. Or Nick Jaspi, drop a link so I can just quickly click it. Jersey and autograph, Judge Ito Smith. Is it the... Is it that is it that crocodile drug, or whatever it's called in like Russia or something, that like melts your skin? Six out of forty nine. Judge Ito Smith going to Sean Cole and the Falcons. 
150 out of 175, Josh Rosen. The chosen Rosen. Next box. Do we like Taco Bell nacho fries, ladies and gentlemen? I see a nacho fries commercial happening here. Are we into that? Or is it not good? It looks, in I am intrigued, I have to admit. I'm intrigued. Gilo says, my friends say they like the fries. All right. That's one endorsement. Gabe's friends. I mean, it's just... Oh, Kyle Kramer saying they are quite lit. Quite lit. What are you... It's, it's Kyle Kramer sounds like a sounds like a Brit. Yeah, all right, they're quite lit. Yeah, quite lit. Proper lit. They're proper lit. I guess proper lit would mean they would actually light up. But anyhow, next box. Ezekiel Elliott. Out of 175. So cold, no go. What are the best cold fries out there, Kyle Kramer? There's 47 out of 49. Kyle Aletta. What are the best cold fries? What what fries could you eat cold? I think I could eat in and out fries cold. Especially if you request them to be well done. 27 out of 99, Royce Freeman. Well, yeah, the real answer is none. You're right. There's Corey Davis, 18 out of 70. Passion for Card says they're disgusting. We've got a, we got a one down vote. Nick Jaspi saying Chick-fil-A, a bad road team. They don't, those fries don't travel well. Buffalo Wild Wing fries are actually pretty good, says Gilo. I don't think I've ever had those. Have I been to a Buffalo Wild Wings yet? Calvin Ridley. Two color patch. Didn't we have a? We got a Ito Smith, and now a two color patch auto. Calvin Ridley for the Falcons. Sean Cole with another one. Wingstop. If anybody has a, is, is Wingstop a national? It must be a national chain, right? Wingstop. Fries are pretty good. If you're into that sort of thing. Philip Lindsay out of 199. Greg says McDonald's fries are better cool than blazing hot. There's Dorsey Levens. Out of 199. Ooh, Kyle Kramer agrees. Yeah. Let the, let the salt melt and soak in there a little bit. There's Shaquem Griffin, Sparks Relic, 48 out of 99. Team B Random going with the Wendy's Fries Dipped in Frosty. I have done that before. That's actually not bad at all. Oh, I kind of want a Wendy's Frosty. Yeah, Gilo likes the Wingstop Fries, but just too much sugar. Yeah, that seasoning, though, is great. That need need the seasoning there. Really, the Wendy's fries? Well, they are a franchise, so it it could be a uh, you know it could be a could could be the, your local franchisee. But when done correctly, those Wendy's fries with like the, the with like the sea salt that they use there, it's pretty good. Ooh, Five Guys! I haven't had Five Guys in a while. Five Guys Cajun fries. You know, we got a place called Smash Burger here that has some great fries here. Oh, Gilo doesn't like Wendy's fries. What about Arby's Curly Fries? Love Arby's Curly Fries.
All right, next box of select. We got Tricolor Kyle Aletta to 99. We got Jalen Samuels to 199. Another three color one right here. Blank. Saquon Barkley and Neam Hines, 36 out of 49. 39 out of 49. Two color patch and autograph. I, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little hungry too. I'm a, I kind of want. Cha, I'm kind of want a chocolate frosty now, <laughs> from Wendy's. Where's where's the nearest Wendy's? At a 175, Philip Lindsay. What about uh, what about Carl's Jr. Chris Cut Fries? I guess Hardee's in some some regions of the United States. Nice gold Quincy and Nunwa. Ten out of ten. One of the uh, nicest autographs. One of the ni best penmanship in the hobby. No auto here, but just in case. Uh, ben with the Jets. Benny and the Jets. Nick Jaspi was talking about Whataburger. He likes his fr those fries. Whataburger fries. They were pretty good. I think we. I think the last time I had a Whataburger was almost a year ago in Arizona. Gold, Mo Hurst. That card is gold. Ryan Sullivan with my Raiders. Gets the gold die cut autograph, Mo Hurst. Give that man some help next season. Seven out of ten. There's Odell Beckham Jr. to 99. Passion is saying Sonic has some good food. I like the Sonic uh, tater tots there. 44 out of 49, Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, I have not been to a, a Shake Shack yet. There's one in Santa Monica, and there's one in El Segundo. Kyle Kramer, it sounds like you have to you have to uh, you have to buy out you have to buy out Sonic and you have to buy out Wendy's and turn those franchises around. Come on, Mark Wahlberg has a place called Wahlburgers. Is it just a is it like a place where he actually like says, yeah, these are burgers I like? Or is it like just he just puts his name on it and just cashes in? It's actually him and Donnie. D I had no idea this place existed. There's 26 of them? Hmm. And one in Orlando? And in South Boston? Well, is it, is it good? Have you guys been, Greg and Zach? And there's the zebra. You like that? Kirk Cousins, zebra die cut. That goes to Anthony P. and the Vikings. Oh, there's one right at Fenway, too. Well, there you go, Anthony. Zebra, Fenway, David and Yoku. It's supposed to be wicked awesome, says Greg. Huh. So their brother, Joe Babcock, says their brother is a head chef is the head chef. So this is like a legit there was a how did I miss this whole Wahlburger thing? There's an A and E show about it. Their brother's a head chef. they so this is they're into it. It's not just something they just slap their name on and just, you know, took a couple points off the gross and they're like, yeah, there you go, give us the money. There's Sony Michelle tricolor for the Pats. And we're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. 68 out of 99. We're on to Cincinnati. Is there is there one at the airport, Nick Jaspi, when we're at the airport tomorrow? Can we pay for an overpay overpriced burger? Wall burger? AJ Green for Greg McKinnon. No worries. I like the sparks. Look at that. It looks like uh it looks like a Sith 
this looks like force lightning. <laughs> nice. Oh, what's the number on, on this guy here? 68 out of 99. There's Vaughn Miller to 199. Oh, there's one on the strip too? Hmm. I try it out. There is a white prism of Baker Mayfield. Nice. And Justin Tucker. 1999. That's Prince. We've got to find Thomas Howell. One of these with an autograph on it. That'd be nice. There's a tie-dye, Nick Chubb. 10 out of 25. All right, next box. LAX is stuck in nineteen ninety when it comes to food. Yeah, seriously. What are, what are we taking again? Are we taking Southwest? How is that? Didn't they redo that terminal? about Sky Harbor in Phoenix? I wonder if Sky Harbor has some good good noms there. Oh, right. The Chick-fil-A will be closed. Maybe we'll just have to get some food beforehand. All right. Next box. There's Mariota to 199. Phoenix, Jose, for the Tops Industry Conference. These guys are not invited. I, they might be, actually. They might. Are there any Panini guys? Here? Probably not. They have their own conference. It's too far away. Andrew Luck, 17 out of 25. 18 out of 75, Shaquem Griffin. I think, Nick Jaspi, correct me if I'm wrong, there used to be like an industry conference that was with everybody, right? I think like Beckett spot, like led the whole thing and they would invite everyone from Panini and Upper Deck and Tops, et cetera, et cetera. And there'd be like this whole thing. They did, right? Yeah. And then, I don't know, I think, I don't know. People got... Weird about it. 18 out of 10. People got weird about it, and then they were just like, no, we're going to do our own. So I think, like, Panini does their own in Dallas now, and then and then Tops does the one in Arizona. Phoenix is just so close. I will just do it. I don't think Upper Deck does their own thing. Does Upper Deck have their own thing? Upper Deck's in Southern California. We should just go down to Upper Deck. They should hold their conference in San Diego. We'll, I'll drive down there. There's Deshaun Jackson to 199. Yeah, where are our verified badges, Nick Jaspi? Deshaun ja Djax going to Scott DeRosa and the Buccaneers at a 199. One out of 25, Roquan Smith. Nice three color jersey and autograph for Matthew K. And duh! Bears, duh, bears, duh, bears, duh, bears, duh, bears, duh, bears. Love the tie dyes. Always look sharp. There's Chris Long, refractor autograph for the Eagles. The fly, Eagles fly. Michael Jones with the Eagles. Sean, Sean's going to go to the Panini Conference in Dallas with signs to protest against points. Jones. 
You can get those um, you can get those kaboom packs now with the points. Those aren't so bad. Rex says, I think Jaspies needs to have their own card manufacturing company. Make your own cards and compete with Panini and Tops. Wow. I don't know if we want to do that. No one would be happy. Oh, there's not enough hits. There's too many hits. We, we see... You guys are vicious. You guys are savage when it comes to... Tops will do one thing wrong. And Panini will get one little thing wrong. And then it's just like... What, what crooks... Blah, blah, blah. We don't want to deal with that. They're like, Rex, you'll just be like, oh, Jaspies hates me because they don't put enough cubs. They don't put enough cubs in the product. Yeah, Joe P will be like, garbage. How come there's no Diamondbacks in here? You know? Oh, sticker autos. Oh, Jaspies charging too much. They're not a, they're not men of the people. Look at them trying to charge charge all this big time money. See, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. We'll 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 let the big manufacturers shoulder the burden of criticism. They shoulder a lot. They're good good people in that industry too, but they shoulder a lot. We don't want to do that. This doing this is hard enough. There's T.Y. Hilton to seventy five. Yeah, you know what? I I think they should not do that. I don't mind. I mean, like, listen, I get why they do points. I don't mind it. Um, I didn't realize that until. I mean, like a couple years ago, I didn't realize that they charge for shipping on the... Which I don't think they should do. They just, just eat the shipping. Like, who charges for shipping in these, this day and age? <laughs> Alright, so the Jared Goff die cut... Yeah, no, the points do all right, actually, on the secondary market. People buy them. Thirty-four out of forty-nine, Jared Goff for the Rams. That'll be for Peter Ang. And there's our first XRC card, the first running back taken. So that'll be randomized to the person on name on top after the randomizer. Jersey and Otto, Keanu Neal. With that, with that classic blue Falcons jersey, Sean Cole. We, we're speculating that that's a, that must be from a college jersey. Usually they say, but they're pretty good about that. But. Miles Garrett, blue. To 175. And a Baker Mayfield two color patch. Eight out of 99. Browns, Thomas Howell. I would like that too. We were talking about Nick Jaspi. Nick Jaspi saying, I would just like top spinning upper deck just to get licensed for every sport. And then, you know, no more exclusives. Right. And the points will be the second name on the randomizer. All right, we got six boxes left. We are halfway through here. Halfway through this break. All right, next box. 
Yes, I would love Triple Threads football again. Someone, was it you, Anthony, last night? Someone had mentioned Supreme football. And I was like, oh, man. I missed Top Supreme football. All right, Kyle was mentioning a few minutes ago, NT Hockey. NT Hockey would be cool to see again. Supreme Football I miss. Yeah, we did tons of that stuff, Rex. Exclusives seem to me you like a monopoly. Um, I mean, exclusives, the very definitions of both are different, right? Exclusives are just exclusives. Monopolies are a little bit. Monopoly would be if Panini was, I don't know. That's It's hard to argue Monopoly in a in an industry like that. Um, but I see what you mean. I mean, they just paid more, you know, why didn't tops pay more for, to challenge for that license? I just, they kind of missed the, missed the boat on that. You know, so it's only a monopoly because it's not a mono. I mean, it's, it's different. But I, I know what you're saying, though, Daniel. Like, I, I, I agree with Nick Jaspi. I don't, I don't want, like, everyone, it should be like, there should be, we should have Topps football and, and Panini football again. We should have Upper Deck doing, Upper Deck really needs to be, to get in the game. You know, we want to be able to see, you know, we want, there's Carry On Johnson 199. And there's AJ Green to 99. I need upper deck to get into that, into the back into the football basketball game. But listen, it's also, it's also these guys. It's mostly these guys and these guys. They're the ones that accepted the exclusive offer from these guys. These guys said, "Hey, we want an exclusive," and they said, "Okay, if you pay us this much, we'll give you the exclusive." And they said, "Okay," and they accepted it. So, I know it's easy to be like Big Bad Panini and Big Bad Tops, but it's also it's also the 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 league and the players' association, you know, also being okay with those deals too, because of the dollars, the money, <laughs> cash is king, right, Greg? Uh, that's Joe Flacco. That relic goes to the Ravens. That'll be for Ben. The Kirk Cousins will go to the Vikings for Anthony P. Anthony P. got the zebra die-cut Kirk Cousins as well. That was the case hit. And a 75, Antonio Callaway. And QB3. <laughs> Garrett, you, 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 want a, you want a more front of the card time for Joe Flacco? There he is. And Jersey Auto, Aaron Donald. Nice. Nice Aaron Donald for the Rams. Peter Eng with the Rams. Rex, I'm, I'm glad that we've moved on from Upper Deck Collector's Choice. I don't think they should bring back 89, uh, 1989 product. Let's move on from the past.
but I wonder, Kyle. Kyle was saying earlier, upper decks quality is better than Panini and Tops. I wonder. I wonder if it's because they are they're able to, you know, they're not under the gun to to like produce X amount of product for licensing fees, right? So maybe they they have more time for like design and and sourcing autographs and sourcing like relics and stuff like that. All right, here we go. There's Tom Brady, 54 out of 99. How many people think that all that TB12 stuff just ends up being like water and sugar? He's like he's like a snake oil salesman. LaShawn McCoy to 199. There's Shaquem Griffin, tie dye. One out of 25. Nice one for the Seattle Seahawks. It'll be for Kyle Kramer with the tie dye. Die cut, Anthony Miller. 32 out of 99. Thirty-two out of ninety-nine, and thirty-four out of forty-nine. Jersey and auto Christian Kirk for Jonathan Best. Just continue to add those Christian Kirks to his PC, whether he intended to or not. Nice Christian Kirk. We got Donnie Shell. Old Donnie Shell for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Cameron Goodman. 58 out of 75. And Amari Cooper, 16 out of 99. One out of 99, Demarius Thomas. Eric Bale, I don't think we'll be reloading the store. We're just going to shut it down. That's it for us. Forget it. Uh, no, we're gone for three days, Eric Bailey. So I don't think you're going to see the store reloaded for a couple of days. We're going to the Tops Industry Conference. So I guess you could buy stuff over the weekend. Oh, I guess we're posting pre-orders of Contenders Optic Football manana. There you go. <laughs> what if we were just like, eh, we're not going to reload the store anymore. I can't believe the Lakers lost to the Anthony Davis-less Pelicans. Only for, th only for three days, Rex. We're only gone for three nights. I'm never in the loop, Eric Bailey. I'm never in the loop. There was one night this week, someone asked the night before, hey, you getting any, of those, any more of those uh, Leaf uh, multi-sport autographed jerseys? And I was like, nah, probably not for like another week or two. I think we're not getting any more. Next day, we got a big case of it delivered and it was on the site. And then person came back and was like, Joe, there they are. I was like, ah, eh, I know. Don't ask me. I don't know anything. <laughs> All right. We got Golden Tate to 75.
There's Dak Prescott, 178 to 199. I hope the pun was intended. <laughs> Eric Bailey, you, you, you got us. You got us, Eric Bailey. Save us, Eric Bailey. Eric Bailey, save us. Nightbot has taken everything over. Nightbot wants everything here. We're just slaves to his needs. Jerry Rice die cut, 17 out of 75. And Khalil Mack, 2 out of 75 for the Bears. It's Jerry Rice die cut going to the Niners. That's for John Watson. <laughs> Nightbot's the captain now, right? I was like, okay, okay. Seventeen out of seventy-five. Jordan Wilkins for the Colts. Sean Coles asking just for fun. How does everyone think receivers of today would do against old school guys, old school defense of the past using using old rules? No, Odell Beckham Jr. would not survive. Using old rules? No. Well, I don't know. I mean, Odell Beckham Jr., the way he grew up today, in like I don't think I don't think he'd be able to do it. If he was born, you know, if it's Odell Beckham Jr., same size and blah blah blah, you know, and grew up in a different era a different time period I, I i think i think he he has the size to be like you know you know and the mentality to to be like yeah i can take a tough hit over the middle kind of thing but but no i mean mark walton sorry goes to greg greg mckinnon there you go greg another bangle on the board for you all right three boxes to go antonio brown would be working at a car wash But yeah, going going over the middle is, is is an art. You know what I mean? Going over the middle is an art. Like I, it's it, it requires definitely requires a certain amount of of guts to to do that effectively time and time again. It requires a different kind of cat. Um, I'm not sure if o, Odell Beckham Jr. is that kind of person. <laughs> But that's like the argument. There's the argument of like, of like a, a ball player that can play in any era. Like they talk about this in basketball, right? I'm watching NBA TV right now. Talking about this basketball, like a guy like Shaquille O'Neal, right? Guy like Kareem Abdul. There's guys that could, that could have just played in any era of basketball, and would have dominated. You know, you, you may not be able to argue that for for every star, but there are some where you can say that. You know, like I feel like like Calvin Johnson. Right, I feel like Calvin Johnson could could play in any era. How great would Jerry Rice be now? Greg J is asking. I, I mean, you can't really. The rules are so, you know, and a lot of it for good reason. But the rules are so so like. Offensive so favors the offense so much. Nice Leighton Vanderish tie dye, by the way, for David Lopez. Fourteen out of twenty-five. That Jerry Rice would just destroy, right? There's Harrison Butker. Sean Cole, did you just reference Algy Crumpler? I don't think I've I've thought of the of of Algie Crumpler in a long time. There's Miles Garrett die cut. Seven out of ninety nine. 
die cut for the Browns. I go to Thomas Howell. Lane Kiffin said Alshon Jeffrey would end up pumping gas because he didn't commit to UT. There's Chris Thompson. Yeah, I guess he was wrong. I think Kiffin might be wrong about a number of things. Yeah, Brian Dawkins made you remember Algie Crumpler for the rest. Tight end? Falcons, maybe? Algie Crumpler? Do I see green there? Train whistle? Wake up, everybody. It's a Jared Goff train whistle. That is for Peter Eng and the Los Angeles Rams. No wink, but still a two out of five for the Goffster, the Goffinator. They don't call him that. But Jared Goff. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Oh, he was a Falcon. Team B ran saying Crumpler was great with Vic. After that, he kind of fell off. There's Khalil Mack Blue this time to 175. There's Ezekiel Elliott to 199 for the Cowboys. And Patrick Chung, jersey and autograph. 39 out of 99. Patriots, Karen Steele with her pats. And there is DJ, David Johnson, 19 out of 49. Die cut for the Cardinals. Jonathan Best with the Redbirds. Chris Berman loved Algie Crumpler. What was his, what was his like nickname for Algie Crumpler? Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Back, 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 back. Two boxes to go. Almost there, folks. Almost there. And then six more boxes after this. We have a random team version of this coming up. And then a quick two-box break of Tribute Baseball. And that's that should be our night, ladies and gentlemen. Already saw the case hit, folks. It was the die cut zebra. Die cut zebra. Um, Kirk Cousins, Vikings. Cortland Sutton to 199. Harrison Smith tie dye. You want me to do tribute next? Can't. Can't. 11 out of 15. People should have just sold it out sooner, Jose. Tie-dye Harrison Smith, Vikings, Anthony P. And what happens when someone's like, no, do select random team first. Who do I pick, Jose? Alvin Kamara jersey. What if someone on the East Coast is like, man, it's 1230 here. I'm in select next. What then? Saints for Garrett Strauss. There you go, Garrett, on the board. David Johnson to 49. And Kyle, Kyle Uziek. Uziek. That doesn't spell that last name. <laughs> Kyle going to John Watson and the Niners. There you go, 75 out of 99.
Dante Jackson to 99. Uh, no, but when we run into, I mean, I run into the uh, the president of Tops, I guess. I can be like, hey, what about football? They know, Eric Bailey. It's just a matter of, I don't know when that contract runs out, you know. But you got to think that, I mean, football is still the biggest, right, money-making American sport, right? So they know. There's Melvin Gordon, it's a seven, 7 out of 75. I guess it's just a matter of, I don't know how, what the what all the numbers are like. Shaquem Griffin to 199, tri-color, which I really enjoy. The colors really do pop. I think Kyle Kramer is saying this. That goes to Kyle Kramer. He was saying how the, nicely the colors pop in select football. I agree. Good job this year. Yeah, it kind of looked like it did spell Geis, right? All right. Um, Jose, try watching on a uh, on Twitch. We do have that as a as a. We don't really. We only very occasionally monitor the chat there, but you know you can definitely try watching there. Yeah, I like the. Do you like the shape of the die cuts too this year, Kyle? I like the shape of the die cuts this year. Oh, it looks like a football. That would be a fun set. Like, uh, if they could find like some cut autos of like Chris Farley or something like that. Guys in the DeBear sketch. Get that in there. Oh, nice. You got an out of nine Russell Wilson one. They do look sharp. We've seen a couple of those die cut zebra parallels too. I think we saw a Keenan Allen a few cases ago. That looks pretty nice. All right. Whew. Last box. We made it. Definitely uh, running out of steam, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. Jersey and auto. Tie dye, Judge Ito Smith. We started with a Ito Smith. Looks like we're going to end with a Judge Ito Smith as well. The Alpha and the Omega. There's Sean Cole with the ATL. There you go, Sean. Nice. Love that tie-dye. Yeah, Sean's like, I'm okay with that. That'll work. That'll do. Carry on Johnson to 175. Out of 99, TB. And I don't think I've seen one of these yet. Well, like a parallel of the snapshots right here. Terrell Suggs. Snapshots, Ravens. 13 out of 25. Not too many parallels of those snapshots cards. We'll save one of these Baker Mayfield silvers too. And a tie-dye, Robbie Anderson, two-color patch tie-dye. Sean Music, still old school, he says. N no, we we uh, end up, sometimes we do end up selling these base cards. And we just put the money towards, uh, towards charity or we end up donating these too. We used to donate a lot of these as well. We still do sometimes. We donate them to like... Boys and Girls Club of America and stuff like that. But that's what that's that's what we do with with those. Double O two out of one ninety nine. Yeah, I don't I don't mind the 
the building of the sets. Right, that's how we that's how we pay for the Teslas, right? Just five cents a card and sell monster boxes of them. Tesla payment. <laughs> There's Braxton Berrios, ninety six out of one ninety nine. DJ Moore, tricolor. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. It'd be cool to get a one of one of this round one pick one. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I, I have just stacks of these, Sean. And it's going to go. Once I have a monster box full of them, then off to the card show I go. And just sit there for the afternoon and. Five cents a card, ten cents a card, ten cents for that Aaron Rodgers. Come on, that's a, that's a ten cent or maybe even fifteen cents if the corners are nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I gotta randomize these bad boys here. So let's go back to the list. Everyone has a shot at those. Let's fire up some dice and a blank list. Let's get everyone from Jonathan Best down to Jerry Bennington. And four and a six ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I said ten, right? Yeah, seven, eight. Zoned out a little bit there. Nine and tenth and final time. After ten times. Spot two gets... Uh, 400 plus 250, 650 points. Goes to Peter Ang. There you go, Peter. Almost there to a Kaboom pack. And Anthony P., you'll get the XRC cards. Remember, they were the third quarterback in the draft and the first running back. In the, I don't know who the first running back in the draft is going to be, but that should be pretty interesting. There you go. Thanks, everybody. Um, to those who hit, congrats. To those that, who did not, thank you for getting into the break anyway and giving it a shot. Um, that was uh, Pick Your Team 8. From jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.